So in this example diagram, we've got a doctor's surgery and we can see there's various offices here, each one with a camera in there on both sides of the building. So in total, we've got 16 cameras, meaning we've got 16 cable runs in total, all the way back to where I'm showing that the monitor with the NVI, the network video recorder here. Um, so quite a lot of cabling to be done. And so the question is, can I simplify that cabling so it's a lot neater? Um, more cost effective and more time effective? And the answer is by deploying Ethernet switches, the answer is yes. Let me just show you how we can do that. So in this revised diagram, we see each camera is going to a local Ethernet switch. When I say an Ethernet switch, it's actually a PoE switch, power over Ethernet. So essentially the power for each camera um, is fed directly from the Ethernet switches here and here. And we can see now we've just got basically on this side of the building eight cable runs to the switch there, eight cable runs to the switch here. And then because the Ethernet switch is essentially a multiplexer, what that means is that all eight of the camera streams can be fed through a single Cat5e cable to where we have located the network video recorder and the same on this side of the building as well. So basically instead of having eight cable runs here, we've just got one, and instead of eight here, we've just got one. So far simpler and much tidier for the end customer. So here we have an example of two PoE switches. In this case, we've got a 16 port PoE switch and here an eight port PoE switch. Uh, when I say 16 and 8, I'm referring to here's the PoE camera ports here. And then we also have a couple of uplink ports, um, which we would feed up to our NVR. So basically along here, we've got camera ports. If you take a look, I've just got a couple of example cameras plugged in. So cameras all plugged in, powered from the PoE switch, powering the cameras directly. They're then all just, uh, all of the cameras are multiplexed inside the switch and basically sent out one single uplink here this yellow cable and that yellow cable is basically feeding all the way in to one of the camera ports on the NVR so if you imagine we had 16 cameras in here instead of having to run 16 cables all the way back to my NVR I'm now only running a single cable much neater much more time efficient and you may have a bit of cost in the switch, but they're not so expensive, but you've lost all of the cost of all of the extra cable runs going back to the NVR. So it'll give you a much tidier, neater solution.